Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you part two of our wall-mounted metal clock design ideas video for your inspiration. Watch the video until the end to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small-scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. If you are new to our channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. If you haven't watched the part 1 video, please do so by using the links in the video description and on the screen. As you might remember, in the part 1 video we have said the history of timekeeping devices dates back to when ancient civilizations first observed astronomical bodies as they move across the sky. Devices and methods for keeping time have since then improved through a long series of new inventions and ideas. We have seen shadow cloaks, water cloaks, incense cloaks, astrolabes, candle cloaks, and so on. Today we will continue our narration from where we have stopped. History of Early Oscillating Devices in Timekeepers The English word cloak first appeared in Middle English as cloak. Cloque or cloquee. The origin of the word is not known for certain. It may be a borrowing from French or Dutch and can perhaps be traced to the post classical Latin cloca, meaning bell. 7th century Irish and 9th century Germanic sources recorded cloak as meaning bell. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam all had time set aside for prayer. Although Christians alone were expected to attend prayers at specific hours of the day and night, what the historian Joe Ellen Barnett describes as a rigid adherence to repetitive prayers said many times a day. The bell striking alarms warned the monk on duty to toll the monastic bell. His alarm was a timer that used a form of escapement to ring a small bell. This mechanism was the forerunner for the escapement device found in the mechanical cloak. In 13th century, the first innovation to improve on the accuracy of the hourglass and the water cloak occurred in the 10th century when attempts were made to slow their rate of flow using friction or the force of gravity. The earliest depiction of a cloak powered by a hanging weight is from the Bible of St. Louis, an illuminated manuscript that shows a cloak being slowed by water acting on a wheel. The illustration seems to show that weight-driven cloaks were invented in Western Europe. A tragedy written by Robert the Englishman in 1271 shows that medieval craftsmen were attempting to design a purely mechanical cloak that only driven by gravity during this period. Such cloaks were a synthesis of earlier ideas driven from European and Islamic science such as gearing systems, weight drives and striking mechanisms. In 1250, the artist Villard de Honecourt illustrated a device that was a step towards the development of the escapement. Another forerunner of the escapement was Horologia Nocturna, which was an early kind of verge mechanism to operate a noca that continuously struck a bell. The weight-driven cloak was probably a Western European invention as a picture of a cloak shows a weight pulling an axle around. Its motion is slowed by the system of holes that slowly released water. In 1271, 
The English astronomer Robertus Anglicus wrote of his contemporaries that they were in the process of developing a form of mechanical cloak. The invention of the Verge and Foliot escapement in 1275 was one of the most important inventions in both the history of the cloak and the history of technology. It was the first type of regulator in horology. A verge of vertical shaft is forced to rotate a weight-driven crown wheel, but is stopped from rotating freely by a foliot. The foliot, which cannot vibrate freely, swings back and forth, which allows a wheel to rotate one tooth at a time. Although the verge and foliot was an advancement on previous timekeepers, it was impossible to avoid fluctuations in the beat caused by chains in the applied forces. The earliest mechanical clocks were regularly reset using a sundial. At about the same time as the invention of the escapement, the Florentine poet Dante Alighieri used cloak imagery to depict the souls of the blessed in Paradiso, the third part of the Divine Comedy written in the early part of the 14th century. It may be the first known literary description of a mechanical cloak. There are references to house cloaks from 1314 onwards. By 1325, the development of the mechanical cloak can be assumed to have occurred. Large mechanical cloaks were built that were mounted in towers so as to ring the bell directly. The tower cloak of Norwich Cathedral, constructed in 1325 to 1320, 1321 to 1325, is the earliest such large cloak known. The cloak has not survived. The first clock known to strike regularly on the hour. A clock with a verge and foliot mechanism is recorded in Milan in 1336. By 1341, clocks driven by weights were familiar enough to be able to be adapted for grain mills, and by 1344, the clock in London's old St. St. Paul's Cathedral had been replaced by one with an escapement. The foliot was first illustrated by Dondi in 1364 and mentioned by the court historian Jane Frosart in 1369. The most famous example of timekeeping device during the medieval period was a clock designed and built by the clockmaker Henry Devick in 1360 which was said to have varied by up to two hours a day. For the next 300 years, all the improvements in timekeeping were essentially developments based on the principles of Devick's cloak. Between 1348 and 1364, Giovanni Dondi del Orologio, the son of Jacopo Dondi, built a complex astarium in Florence. During the 14th century, striking clocks repeat appeared with increasing frequency in public spaces, first in Italy, slightly later in France and England between 1371 and 1380. Public clocks were introduced in over 70 European cities. Salisbury Cathedral cloak, dating from about 1386, is one of the oldest working cloaks in the world and maybe the oldest. It still was most of its original parts. The Wales Cathedral cloak, built in 1392, is unique in that it still has its original medieval face. Above the cloak are figures which hit the bells and a set of jousting knights who revolve around a track every 15 minutes. Later developments. The invention of 
The mainspring in the early 15th century, a device first used in locks and for flint locks in guns, allowed small clocks to be built for the first time. The need for an escapement mechanism that steadily controlled the release of the stored energy led to the development of two devices. The stack fruit, which also invented in the 15th century, can be documented no earlier than 1535, and the fuse, which first originated from medieval weapons such as the crossbow. There is a fuse in the earliest surviving spring driven lock, a chamber clock made for Philip the Good in, in 1430. Leonardo da Vinci, who produced the earliest known drawings of a pendulum in 1493 to 1494, illustrated a fuse in 1500, a quarter of a century after the coiled spring first appeared. Era of Precision Timekeeping Pendulum Cloaks the first accurate timekeepers depended on the phenomenon known as harmonic motion, in which the restoring force acting on an object moved away from the equilibrium position such as a pendulum or an extended spring axis to return the object to that position and causes it to oscillate. Harmonic oscillators can be used as accurate timekeepers as the period of oscillation does not depend on the amplitude of the motion and so it always takes the same time to complete one oscillation. The period of a harmonic oscillator is completely dependent on the physical characteristics of the oscillating system and not the starting conditions of the amplitude. The period when clocks were controlled by harmonic oscillators was the most productive era in timekeeping. The first invention of this type was the pendulum clock which was designed and built by Dutch polymarch Christian Hughes in 1656. Early versioned aired by less than one minute per day and later ones only by 10 seconds, very accurate for their time. Dials that showed minutes and seconds became common after the increase in accuracy made possible by the pendulum clock. The pendulum clock outperformed all other kinds of mechanical timekeepers to such an extent that these were usually refitted with a pendulum, a task that could be done without difficulty, so that few verge escapement devices have survived in their original form. Well, dear viewers, let's stop talking about the history of timekeeper devices because it will take hours if we want to talk about all types. Maybe we will get back to the rest sometime in the future videos. For now, as you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting metal wall clock design ideas for you and inspiration. Which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use in your projects from time to time. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.